What's up? This is Ben Zinn for NextLevelGuitar.com. Thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, today we have a really cool inspired by lesson for all of you out there on how to achieve some really cool signature sounding delay tones. So let's check them out. Hey, if you would like a free video lesson that is not available on YouTube with a corresponding ebook, all you have to do is click on the link that you see below here in the YouTube text box. Click on that link and we will send all of that to you for free, available exclusively through nextlevelguitar.com. Starting in the 80s, we started to hear some really different and unique delay sounds. Part of this had to do with the fact that we were starting to see digital delays on the market uh, and some advances in the delay technology. And of course, along with that, we had people uh, playing differently and taking different approach with their effects to create some new sounds. So what we want to do today is to start out, I want to explain how we can achieve a dotted eighth note delay sound using any delay pedal. It's just kind of a trick that we use in how we're counting and playing against the delay that will really lead you down some interesting uh, pathways and, and open up some new doors in your playing. So we're going to start out with that today in detail how to approach playing with the delay and then we'll get into some of the chord voicings and rhythmic ideas that we can use in our examples. So our approach to playing a dotted eighth note sound with our delay pedal all starts with where we're feeling the pulse of the delay. Now to get an idea of what we're talking about here, go ahead and get your delay pedal set, cover your strings, and then just give all the strings a good whack. And you, that way you can hear uh, the amount of time between repeats. So I have a lot of time in between mine right there, as we can hear. Now naturally, our ears like to divide up that time into groups of four. That's kind of what we all naturally do. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what happens is, that's how we naturally play against the delay pedal. That works just fine, but what we're gonna do is show you guys a trick to move over our pulse, move over our count to achieve it, uh, access to a different sound. So once again, we are dividing into fours naturally. That's how most of us are gonna hear the amount of time in between. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's what we're gonna change now. Instead of spacing it out so count one lands with the echo, I want you to re-space your counting so that count four and uh, lands with the echo. And here's what I mean. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So now we're changing our count. We're still feeling our pulse right here. Let's try that once more. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We still have the same pulse. Once your echo dies away, keep counting at that same rate, and we're going to establish a new pulse by doing that. Let's demonstrate one more time. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Now we've established a new pulse that we can play against. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're ready to start playing at a new tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we hear something different happening with our delay pedal. We see the, the horses are starting to gallop a little bit. Once we have established our new pulse, now start playing 16th notes against that new pulse, and we'll, all of a sudden we'll hear a totally different sort of echo return.
So now this approach is only possible by moving over where we're feeling the beat. And that's what that little trick about moving over our count is going to do for us. We can do that at any tempo. It's just a matter of taking the same approach towards whatever speed your echo is coming back at you at. And once you've established your new pulse, now you're ready to start jamming. So some really cool signature sounding chord moves that we can do are a lot of sus uh, chords, sus4 and sus2. So let's take you through a few of those examples and then we'll put it all together with our delay pedal. Uh, the first one's a G sus4 and I'm gonna go ahead and fret with my thumb here. I'm deadening string five and I'm barring strings one and two with my index finger. So there's G sus4 and then here would be a G major. So we can gain access to a pretty cool sound of that chord resolving here or leading you into the G chord, the sus4 leading into the G. Okay, we could also play with a G5 sound here. Going to a G sus4 and a G with no five. Up here we have some similar ideas. Here's a G major, G sus4, G sus2, back to G. These are all just different positions that you can try experimenting with once we kick on that delay pedal and try some different, different rhythmic ideas against these chords. Here's another one. Here's a G, G sus4. G sus2, back to G. The common theme with all these is that the note on one of the strings is moving while the others stay the same. And in the higher register here, we have a G, G sus4, and if you wanted to, a G sus2. Now that we have our chord voicings, we have our delay pedal set, you're ready to start jamming. Uh, sometimes it's fun to just start out playing percussive and just covering the strings, laying into those 16th notes with that dotted 8th note delay sound feel, and then launch into some of those chord voicings and just have fun playing around experimenting with different combinations. Thanks so much for joining me today. Once again, I'm Ben Zinn for nextlevelguitar.com. Please take a look at the website, nextlevelguitar.com. If you're looking for more information, you're looking to advance your guitar playing, it's a great resource. We have videos there for players of all uh, styles, all skill levels, a lot of great stuff to help you on your journey. So thanks again, and we'll see you back next time.